gone through a wide variety of experiences from medical school to residency, fellowships, working in different environments, and locum tenens as well. Um, our next question is, what advice would we give ourselves if we were back in medical school knowing what we know now? First and foremost, I always followed my heart in medical school, and that led me to the path where I'm, you know, specializing in cardiology, internal medicine, and, and really enjoy the area. Um, I think one thought many years after being in medical school is that when you're young, you're idealistic, you want to save the world. What I realize now is to take care of the people that you are caring for, uh, your patients, your family, your friends, and do the best job you can doing it. So uh, I think it's a process of growth, but if I could tell myself when I was 21 that it's okay, you don't have to take care of the world, just take care of the people you do take care of, uh, that would have been fine. The path through medical school and into becoming a physician frequently is one of lots of studious stuff and you don't spend enough time having fun or, or developing interpersonal relationships and yes. that you, you miss something that other people gain sometimes in their uh, early 20s and uh, that I think that would make me a more rounded individual if I had spent a little more time on that. I would probably try to have more fun. I was probably the typical paranoid pre-med student and medical student, always worried about grades, always worrying about studying and the next test. At this point, looking back, you know, when you're in the middle of the fire, it's really hard to, to step out of that. But looking back, I would like to have had a, a lot more relaxing time and to just lead a, a more well-rounded and balanced sort of schedule. There are a lot of peers or, or uh, colleagues that had older brothers, older sisters, uh, relatives who had gone before them who were there to show them the ropes and the tricks and the secrets on how to be successful, whereas my husband and I, who we met in medical school, we were blind. We had no one before us to tell us what was important and what wasn't. So I would say find a mentor. Or at least a student mentor. Yeah. A student, someone, someone to tell us what was important, what wasn't. The second thing was I remember going through and thinking um, if there was uh, one of the, the clinicians who was responsible for teaching us who had gray hair and was on the sunset of their career, I would think uh, not to pay too much attention to what they had to say because they, they weren't technically savvy. Whereas now, I would think they were the pearls. Right. Now I would seek them out because they have so much to say and the, a well, a treasure of their experiences and they know what matters. I think you should have a dream and no matter what happens in between, you'll arrive. That's very clear to me. And the other thing is that Study yourself. You glorify God most when you're happy. So find out what you're going to be happy in and follow that. And you will succeed very well. <laughs>